Good morning. <laughs> hey guys. Okay, so it is Thursday, April 13th, and I'm headed to work as usual. Um, I am listening to the Model Health Show um, by Sean Stevenson, and it's one of my favorite podcasts now. Um, I love it. Like, ugh, it's a great podcast. I don't listen to every episode. Um, there's some ones that I feel like are rel relevant to me and uh, are interesting. But right now, I'm listening to uh, the four barriers to breakthrough, and um, I just want you guys to hear this one little sound bite. Hold on. Commenting your mentor, or talking to that person you've always wanted to talk to, or sending that email that can push your career forward. Um, you know, reaching out uh, to, to try to talk to publishers or the record company or uh, the potential uh, internship or whatever the case might be, you know, at that law for firm that you've always wanted to work for. Yeah. Having the courage to take action when you feel it, do it. And so, this particular episode is all about um, stepping out of your fear, stepping out of hesitation, stepping out of your reservations about what you lack and moving toward whatever goal you have set for yourself. And I needed to hear this today. Um, I've been doing a lot to uh, prepare myself for after um, law school is over. And I know you guys, I've talked about some of my plans and I'll go into more depth about them later. Um, but I've been doing a lot to prepare myself um, for um, my career after law school. And I've taken a lot of necessary steps to do um, you know what I want to do and um, it's been difficult because one my I do I for those of you who don't know I work for the government and um, the government is under a hiring freeze um, thank you to our president um, and you know I just feel like you know we I can't I can't get hired right now in another position because um, all of the federal agencies um, that I'm interested in are under a hiring freeze and can't hire anyone until further notice um, until that lift that ban the ban on the hiring is, is lifted I can't really do anything um, but what I'm doing right now which is fine I'm making decent money I'm grateful for it to even have the job um, but what I'm, I wanted to say was that there's one particular thing that I've been holding back on even pushing towards and it's an email one email and I you know just was hesitant about even trying to email this person because I was terrified of how she was gonna react I was terrified that she wouldn't respond I was terrified that she'd laugh in my face <laughs> basically and say like why are you even applying why are you even asking me questions um, but I just wanted to say tell, tell you guys out there to just focus just not focus but I wanted to tell you guys out there that whatever that one thing is, whether it's a weight loss goal or or you're trying to gain weight or you're trying to get a new job or you're trying to apply to a, a, an academic program or you're trying to go for your, a certificate in something or you're trying to start a business or you're trying, whatever that thing is, just step out and start. Like, just do what you have to do. Just do it, just do it. I sent the email. Um, just so you guys know, uh, I sent the, sent the email and she responded with so much positive feedback. I can't tell you. I sent her my resume. I sent her, um, and I introduced myself and said what my credentials were, who I am, um, what I plan on doing and asked about any additional, any information she might have about what I was trying to do. And she responded so well, so well with like, like with constructive criticism and ways that I could get around and do things like I was so like elated and now I'm going I'm probably going to ask her to be my mentor um so I just wanted to just be really transparent with you guys and tell you guys that if there's something that you're just hesitant to start hesitant to pursue just do it just do it get out there and just start try it make it happen like there is no harm and you're gonna be so happy that you did you're gonna be so happy that you did um so that's my message for the morning um 
I don't really have much else to say, so I'm gonna get back, go to work, and finish with listening to the podcast, and I'll probably give you some details on some other podcasts that, that I listen to um, on the regular, and yeah. <laughs> so after a long week of classes, I'm stressed, I'm trying to get things done, took, decided to take myself out for a sushi date by myself, but I actually prefer to do things, most things by myself. Guys, let me turn off this music. Um, so yeah, I just had a dinner date with myself. Sometimes it's just necessary to have some time to just chill and stop and pause. So I was just reading my book, um, a book that's not law related. <laughs> um, and I'll tell you more about that later. Um, but yeah, dinner was great. Um, now I'm headed to Home Goods because I'm going to be doing a gallery wall in the hallway of our apartment. And I'll do a whole separate video on this. Um, but yeah, I'm excited because I've been wanting to do this gallery wall since we moved in and it's only been about four months since we moved in. Um, so I'm going to do that this weekend while Tony is away. Okay. And yeah, I'm excited. So excited. Um, because you know, I'm, I don't know if y'all know, but I'm a pretty creative person. I'm a pretty creative person and I like to do things that are pretty artistic and you know just different well not really different because I mean a gallery how many people have a gallery wall in their house probably quite a few people um, but at the same time I just I like doing things that make my house feel more homey feel like more my own and since this will be there until June of next year um, I thought it would be really cool to do something a little bit different than I've ever done before in any of my previous apartments. So that is where I'm headed. I'm heading to Home Goods to pick up some decor and a couple of other things for our bedroom. I told you guys I wanted to revamp the bedroom in the previous vlog. And yeah, that's what I'm doing now. So I told you guys I'm going to vlog the entire weekend. So it might be two or three videos um, worth of stuff um, from this weekend. But it is what it is. Um, I have a lot I want to do this weekend. So just come along with me. Alright guys, so that complex had Home Goods and TJ Maxx in it. And both were a fail. Um, if there was anything vlog worthy, I would have picked up the camera. But I didn't find anything. I'm looking for wall decor for both the bedroom and the actual gallery wall that I'm doing. And I'm also looking for a new comforter for the summertime, springtime. Um, and so a, a few other organizational things like bins for underneath my sink um, in the bath in the master bathroom because I need um, some bins to put all of my products and I want to separate the products for from the beginning to end if I can I don't, like you know like I will do like shampoos and conditioners I want to do leave-ins and I want to do stylers and then another thing for um, uh, maybe like maybe like three bins three or four bins um so that's what i wanted to do but i can't find anything and i i don't really feel like going to any other stores right now so i think what i'm gonna do is um head home uh i'm just relaxed for the rest of the evening because i'm feeling a little tired um you know it was a, another 4 30 a.m wake up call you know and then i had to be at work by six and I'm just feeling a little tired now. Okay, I lied. I found some stuff. Found this H. And the clock. And a lamp for the bedroom. I'm so glad I lied and came back out anyway. Hey guys, okay, so I'm home. It was a very successful trip. I went back to Target uh, near where I live. And I also went back to Home Goods where near where I live and I found this comforter. It's kind of like a gray, like a dark gray, light gray, and like a pastel pink type vibe. And I really like it. I didn't think it was too masculine or too feminine. So um, this is like the pale pink. I don't know if you guys can even tell on here. There's a pale pink like kind of triangle. It's like a weird like pattern. I really like it. Um, so this is what I'm going to put on our bed for the spring and summer doesn't look like it's too heavy either so yeah that's all that's what I'm gonna do I was also able to find the rest of the things that I needed for the um, 
gallery wall maybe minus a few minor things if that um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a separate video showing you guys how I put the gallery wall up and I guess I could show you where I'm gonna put it so I'll show you guys excuse the trash can but as you guys can see this wall right here is very naked next to our hallway closet so I'm gonna just put a really nice gallery wall up to be seen from Tony's office so if I go I'm in Tony's office now and I'm I have a lot of space on this wall rather than get a big giant art piece I wanted to do a gallery wall with some pictures and things um, you know pictures and you know stuff like that you guys have seen gallery walls everywhere everybody's done them um, it's nothing really new or original um, so I'm gonna do that um, probably tomorrow I also got a few other things I'll show you guys everything in that vlog or the next vlog um, I'll probably link the I'm tired I'll probably link the gallery wall video down below so check below for that video on um, whenever it goes up this video will likely be up before that video so um bear with me um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it's been a crazy long day but a very productive one and i'm grateful so i am going to put this on the bed <laughs> and put my body in the bed so i can go to sleep <laughs> Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you guys so much for all of your comments in um, the past few videos about, you know, what I should do with my channel. I think I have more of an idea of what I want to do. Basically, you guys just want to see my life, so that's what I'm continue, going to continue to do, is share my life with you guys. So, um, I will talk to you guys later, um, and uh, you guys have a great night. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.